Welcome to Factorio Train World. My name is Nila, so this is episode 41 of our Let's Play campaign. As you can see, this is starting to be sort of a common trend that I issue a lot of these bulk commands between sessions so that um, the robots are busy. What I'm in the process of doing is landfilling this area over here. You can see it is just coming along nicely. Let's actually see if we can just stamp one more down and get... Yes! That's the beautiful part when you can finally get the robot ports in here. Um, that one. Yeah. Okay. So once this, these are done, then we can actually get the remainder of this area is now within coverage. And although it does have some weird ones here, but I can take that one out because that was just to trigger this one. And as you can see, we have, uh, we have things. Well, anyway, what we're going to do, let's, uh, have a look at this one. This is our engines. So been working a bit, starting to fill up. Once this one hits 2000, let's keep an eye on this part. When it hits 2000, we should be seeing a delivery come into our robot frames. And let me just think, we have to do something. Uh, so one of the things we have, or the main thing issue we have is this one here. We now have, let's see, this is Locked outbound because of light oil. So we need somewhere to craft light oil. And I think this is a great location to make a light oil refinery. It's close to the water. It's uh, not a very useful location. I mean, there are other places that would be better. You know, this one might actually be better because it's even closer to water. And uh, this one will be for the heavy oil eventually. So that's going to happen soon ish. Now let's head over there. Actually, this one, I want just want for my own curiosity. 1.4, yeah, it started at 1.5. So we used about 100,000 from there. Not much. And let me just uh, see if we can edge our way to the correct location. Do we have what we need? I think we have what we need, at least for now. We have 20 of these. We have a lot of bare boxes and stuff. I can take uh, 200 of these and Oh, 2,100. Lovely. And we'll just take 30 of those. And I think that should be enough. And move down. So what we need to do is making the logistics train network location that ensures the... Whoa! Mm. Okay, there's still too much water in this space. And this one will be a copper, which, which I expect will be... In demand very soon just as soon as we start the low density structures there we go there now this location needs to be cleaned out it has all of these weird ones that were from the old days the olden days there there and here so we are going the only thing we get inbound at this location is let's think we only get light oil in and all we need outbound is heavy oil. Do we have beacons? No, we don't have beacons yet. We can tend to we have beacons. We can toy with them, but here. So the idea here is we are going to get light oil in and petroleum out. That should be good because we have a high demand for petroleum and a high demand and a no demand for light oil. So that should be simple. I think I want to do it like this. This is kind of my preferred way of doing it. If we have the choice, that one and that one. The reason why I prefer this is because then they can be flush against each other and there are no liquids. That means I also, no, I don't need to do anything. Just a single location there and then we can put a light there and then everyone's happy that is a very very tight build here that one that one that one how much we got uh one more that's 10 what uh, 10 i can make 20 by just going on the other side as well or on this side That's not working, is it? Is it though? 
pretty crazy. I, I'm, is this working? No, it's not working. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought so. But I didn't think so. So, what if built this here? Inbound. And that one would collide here. Yes. So it'll have to be somewhere else. Never mind. There's also an option of doing this one. Because then I can have beacons in the middle, which is probably nice. All right. And hold on. If I'm prioritizing this for beacons, then I really don't need to make it bigger than this. We'll make it like this. There's uh, really no reason to make it bigger. Let's see. So we are going to request a light oil. <laughs> Look at all of these. So they are all flying to this location. And that's because all of these locations are here. I have just put in another range. Let's actually look at here. I'm down to 43,000. So we're actually burning through a lot of the wood here every, every night, basically. Every night, this is just going to get burned through. That's very nice. All right. Um, yeah. So light oil requester is here. This is the light oil requester. We'll just copy it. So I think requesters are better set one off. There we go. And this one will actually be a petroleum. Do I have a petroleum? Yes. I'll just make this petroleum too. And then light oil. Yes. Ah, uh, hold on. That's incorrect. I must have misplaced it. That's how it's supposed to go. This one. I don't bother writing petroleum, so I'll do this one. Light oil. Great. Are you inbound? Now you should be inbound. 30,000. It's on that level. No batteries found. No sulfuric acid found. But light oil is coming into this one. That's Dominion coming in. And we need a light oil provider, which we have over here. No, did I? No. I, did, I didn't cut it. Did I cut it? I just, no, I, I copied it. I thought I, I thought I cut it. That would be horrible. That one is just going to be two. Fine. Yeah. This one's coming in. Wow, this is going nice and speedy. I did expect this to be super easy. Got it. This one. Get the light in. So that's one part inbound and the other part outbound will be okay. Now I kind of don't like this. Oh, no, never mind. I, I was had the foresight to actually prepare this there. That one, this one also functions like a pump. So that's also good there. Ah, uh, just those two. That just seems to indicate that. And it's working. And I'm missing this one. Because this would obviously be closer. Never mind. This one. And... Just like that, we are now starting to fill this one up. As soon as it goes to 25, which it should be doing soon enough. We don't have any modules yet. So that's uh, just kind of how it is. Uh, do we want to... 
You want to build it bigger than this? I mean, there is a point to having two of this. I think that this could be whoop, cut. Yeah. And that one would go over here. And the whole damn row here. That one. And I do it this way. The water will also have to go up. That sound. Dirt, dirt. Least favorite sound. Yes, this, and out here. And if we are pretending to do this, that would be, wouldn't be possible until this location to actually merge them. And, oops, here. Okay. All right, let's see. This one pumps in to these locations. This one pumps up. This one, the water goes in. I'm not sure it's going to be enough, but whatever. Here, this one. And here, I, mean, I can build the whatever I have, that one, and this one. And I don't need to merge these together, the only thing I need is... There, I don't know if it's... It's, it's fine. This is probably whatever I can imagine. So this one is 21,000. So once it hits 25, what about this one? How much we got? Wow, this is doing great. And of course, modules, beacons would be essential. This one will be here. So what this should help on is two things, twofold over at this location. These have now been constrained. These used to be constrained because of lack of consumption of light oil. Now that's solved, solved ish. However, one of the important things is this one has to do a requester priority, which is minus 1000. Whatever. So that just means that you will, only, you will only request this when no, nothing else is requesting it. And this one should also be a lower provider priority because this means I only want to provide this when there's no other place. I only want to take from this location when there's no other place I can take it from. Electric engineer found. Okay, well, that's a, I think that's actually a good sign, isn't it? Uh, hold on. If we just look for some black space in the background and the fact that this one says no electric engine. Doesn't that mean that we did transport some electric engines? Nope. Mm. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Look at this. It is working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that we are actually created 1,000 of those. And there has been one delivery. Now this delivery isn't going to be there just yet. But it's, it's slowly getting there. I, this is not going to be a high throughput item. Now let's do one more of those. And we do that by, whoa, this one is not even properly set up. My point of insistence here is to get the radar in. Not that it really matters a lot, but 
Whatever. That one is there. This one. Like that. Now we can turn around and that means we have this one accessible as well. I was kind of considering making it there. Uh, but no. No need. Okay. Run around for these. Moving up. So we'll do the oil cracking is going to be the focus. I'm just dodging left and right. A lot of things not working. Go, go. And there should be... Oh, wow. This one is not even hooked up yet. Oh, yeah. I know why. That's because this one's going to be really difficult to hook up. Because where exactly is it going? Yeah. So, up here. And at this location... But this one is pushing outbound here. But how about we also build exactly something we have, what we've just built down here. At this location, why not just build exactly the same? It, it seemed to work pretty well. Let's do this and just flip it. I mean, why reinvent the wheel? This obviously no. But everything else should be good. And first we have to deselect them all. Point of deselecting is now there is no casting of what items will be in each place and uh, what will be in the pipes and then now I can start doing it again and then they'll be much more strict now about what's in each of the pipes this one is now boom outcast as heavy oil and uh, this one will be water but it doesn't know yet there And look at this, this one is already here. So how do I make sure that I, that the stuff I take out goes into lubricant first and only once lubricant is happy? The only way I just, the only way I know how is. Maybe getting from this one, right? And that would be like this. Which means at this point, it has to be moved one up. This and that one which will then replace this line over here. This line, this line. Right. Okay, so let me explain this by using this. This one is always pushing. This one is not pushing. So this one will say, if the heavy oil in here is more than... More than 1,000, then also push it up here. More than 1,000, is that good enough number? It's probably a bad number, but whatever. There. go this is now filling up it is going up here and I'm missing that one doesn't even serve a purpose does it yeah 
Let's down the light oil. Which will then go... Let's see. This one will be a light oil provider. So that's the only way we have a light... The only place we have a light oil provider is here. I'll take this light oil provider. And that goes uh, in here. Yep. This one. Etienne 2. Yes. And I do suspect that this one should also have a better name. I don't like how calling it. Lubricant, heavy oil. Hmm. I like having this one. Fluid equal light oil. That's where the majority will go. So this one will, is now called light oil. This is a heavy. This one's fine. This is now minus 17. This one has nothing in. But it will get it soon enough. Yeah. 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 Right. We are missing water. So nothing is working yet. But that's why we left this one open. Oh, hold on. We can actually do this now. Ta-da. Sweet, which also means that one can be kicked out because that's a flawed one. And I have still a few of these left. That one goes here. Okay, I hear the squish, 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 squish stuff is working. And is anything flowing? Yes, this is flowing. This one, as long as it's more than... I wish we could have something that's smaller than 25,000 here, but... Whatever. It's an infinite resource, so don't care. And I need to make sure that... This one... It doesn't matter, this is high priority. Because the priority is now set by this one, by making sure that... Yeah, but however, this one should have a low priority or a low provider priority because I don't want this one to be grabbed first. I only want this one to be grabbed oops, when there's nothing else there. Right, so basically this means I'm producing all of the different, the three different liquids, the three different oils here. Or petroleum products is more correctly said. So the three petroleum products are produced here. This one was is used directly for stuff like sulfuric acid and plastic. This one is used directly, the light oil is used directly for solid fuel and eventually also to rocket fuel. The heavy oil is used directly for lubricant. But then lower priority, then once those are saturated, then I use the remaining light oil to convert into petroleum because we always need more petroleum. And I use the remaining. Oh, right. This should actually. There's another thing here. Uh, let's see. I don't want to go all the way down here, but this one is the provider. I'll just put it here. This one has to have an additional notification, and that's this one. Do not throw a warning, is what it says, because I will expect this one to. Always be hungry. Boom. So you will always be hungry. And therefore, don't complain when you can't get anything. That'll just be whenever you can get something, be happy. When you can't get something, don't worry about it. There. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Now let's have a look. This is um, going to be a light oil location. So let me mark this as light oil. That means what we now have is our oil is completely taken care of. This one. Though, as, as interesting as this is, I'm going to take this out because it needs that one. Can build a deep water? Oh, it's up here. Actually, that's interesting. Where is the deep water? This one cannot, can, cannot build on. I don't even see this. Why is this one complaining about cannot build on deep water? Ah, 
it's just the last bit up here. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. And what else? What is the next thing? The next thing is actually maybe making... Now, we, we could make the oil just now that we are in a oil area. Why is Dominion the only one who is working? Well, thank you, Dominion, but what about the rest of them? Are they not working? Do you have a look at this? Dominion is... Ah, there's three. Three working. And the Fabrice is actually transporting lubricant. That's nice to see. And green circuits inbound. So let's see. How is our robot frames working? Because this is one of those that just takes forever to build. But eventually it'll just fill up like this. It's 1.9. So it's actually available for the network. That's perfect. Because that means we can now start working on the next part. Which is going to be... Let's see. Um... <clears throat> that's going to be low density structures so we need to make low density structures they could have been built up here but they should be built somewhere around this area this is going to be used for that one and that one so let's see this one it's going to be the same as that so that has to be So we can that one as well. Absolutely. And this is probably going to be taken out in favor of putting in this one. Let's try this. Does it make sense? Yes. Okay. Which means this has to go out. And that one has to be rebuilt. There. And over on this one. It is this one haunting us. But just so that we have an idea about what's going on, this one as well. Interesting how these tiny things here are still around. Good. So this enables us to actually go up here and figure out. Maybe this will be where we built the low density structures next time. I'm just going to have a look at where it makes sense. Also, what would make sense is doing something like this. So we get, for two different reasons, we want more of this. Okay, we'll just take all of it, all the way down, 24,000. The entire base there. 29,000. And that's kind of one of what I'm usually doing, just random crap like that. Of course, some of it is outside of the area we can take it, so that'll just be whatever. But that can also just be expand it we just make it part of our domain unfortunately we are not getting the radars on this side and that's going to be about where we can do this and yeah and you know we'll just expand this out in all directions and gradually as we get more landfill we have to Landfill everything we can with just some small gaps here and there. But you, as you can see, this is pretty easy once you have a robust city block stu structure. Stamp it down. And everyone's happy. Because the base has to grow and it has to continue to grow. And I have to sort of build a new pattern further out. Right? <clears throat> so we have the layout here, but... What happens further out? I don't know. Something happens. Okay, so definitely that's just a lot of robot action. We'll just leave it as this, and then we can come back. And hopefully, uh, hopefully you will also be back next time for more construction towards the yellow science. That means what we want is low density structures and blue circuits. So those are objectives for next time. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. If you do, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. 
and then I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, stay effective.